here's how to hide photos in Google Photos. Now, if you're in Google Photos and you have a picture or a video, whatever it may be, that you don't necessarily want anyone else to be able to see it, I'm gonna show you your options in terms of hiding it. So let's hop into Google Photos here and I'm on my iPhone. So if I go through any of these photos, say I just want to hide one of these. So I can tap and hold on it. And you see, it gives me a bunch of different options here, but hiding it is not an option. So on the iPhone in the default Photos app, you can hide it and have it Face ID protected. But in Google Photos, that just isn't a feature that they have rolled out yet. So you can't hide it. You can't basically put it under password protection. But what you can do is hit this Move to Archive. So what this will do is it will remove it from this normal photos gallery in Google Photos. Of course, you can tap on library at the bottom right, and then you can tap on archive. And once this loads up, I guess it's not loading quite yet. Let's tap on it again. Yeah. This took a little bit before. Anyway, so it should show up here once it actually moves it to the archive. And basically that photo will now be in your archive. So it's not in your normal photos gallery on here, but it is in your archive. Let's see if try this one more time. No, nope, still not there. So it's a bit buggy. It doesn't automatically appear. So this is one way that you can hide that photo. Of course, another option that you have is just to tap your profile at the top right. And then if you go in here, you can always just log out or change which account you're logged into. So you can see I'm logged into my business account. I can always tap that drop down arrow and then just switch to a different account. And then that essentially will hide that specific photo because it'll be a whole different set of photos. And then I can switch back whenever I wanted to see that specific photo again. Hope this helps. If you have any questions on that? Leave them in the comments down below and I'll catch you on the next one.